JFT just fair and direct. Okay, hello and good morning everyone. Welcome to JFD Traders Espresso with me, Thaddeus Owen Charles, because today is the 9th of April 2021. So we have welcome everyone, welcome to this Friday's morning session where we're gonna have a very quick look at the markets, a few of the charts, the usual stuff. But before we do that, as always, let's quickly have a read through our risk disclaimer. So the content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation it should not be considered as such and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product as always i'll give you a few seconds to read the rest and we can continue Okay, so now then, um, also just before we jump in into the charts, as always, quick mentioning of our JFD YouTube channel, to which you can always subscribe to in order not to miss any of our upcoming videos. And of course, our JFD Bank website and specifically our JFD research page, which will... I will just click on in a moment. Um, so, yep, uh, this is our web page. You can go on top there and uh, click on the research uh, tab. And, uh, yeah, it'll take you to this page, which we update on a daily basis. So I believe you can find a lot of useful information here about indices, stocks, currencies, commodities, and uh, just... Um, our uh, f fundamental analysis here as well. So uh, our daily reviews, our weekly reviews, and... Uh, yeah, just basically research the uh, research the research tab, guys. There we go. Um, so yep. Um, so yeah, I hope you will find it useful. But right now, well, guys, let's jump into the charts. Um, the first one I want to pick up here is Nikkei 225. The index uh, closed in the positive territory today. Um, as you can see, the idea that I kept mentioning this this whole week kind of worked out um, because the what I was saying that if this 21 day EMA continues to provide uh, support then yes we could see a nice rebound here and a move back higher and uh, this is exactly what happened we had that move so yep now the um, of course it didn't really quite reach the downside line as I was expecting it to but maybe this is something for next week so that's why for now guys I'll uh, let's be very careful here uh, very cautious. Um, certainly, we're kind of, <clears throat> it could be seeing maybe here a possible squeeze as well. But um, yeah, let's not rush into anything. The only thing is that I wanted to show you as well is that um, the weekly candle here and uh, that stayed in the kind of um, slightly in the negative territory. So, um, so yeah, uh, that's the kind of the only little issue here. Um, but don't get me wrong. I mean, looking at this picture, especially on the weekly chart here, you can see uh, that the index is really getting into a squeeze here uh, because if we ignore, uh, and the reason why I still had this line here uh, if if you're, um, the subside line, I mean, yes, we had a violation here, but when you look at a weekly chart here, you can see that yes, it's just as it's just seen as a nice um, kind of little false breakout here, and in either way, uh, it ends up being a nice squeeze here. So let's see where this uh, index is going to pop here. For now, of course, we're leaning a little bit more towards the upside. However, uh, don't get me wrong. At one point, uh, on one hand, we are kind of really a little bit, let's say, overstressed here, and maybe we're due for a a bit of a better correction here to the downside. However, again, uh, this could still continue rallying. Um, and that's why we'll just go with, um, or we'll stay on the safe side and uh, we'll monitor um, uh, these two lines here. And for, like I said, if we want to go for some higher levels, uh, yes, we could still see a test of this downside line. So we could still go higher for, uh, we could still go higher within this, uh, within this little kind of uh, squeeze here. Um, towards this downside line but to be a little bit more on the safe side uh, you could wait for a break of this downside line and then yes higher levels could be met uh, now jumping into S&P 500 so yesterday new all-time high for the S&P and uh, this is what I talked about um, 
what I said before that, um, and yesterday, this is what I mentioned that, uh, as you can see, the the index was trading kind of within the range of um, Tuesday, within Tuesday's range here, and uh, um, on sorry, no, no, sorry, that was Wednesday's. Uh, yep, do apologize for that. Um, that was Wednesday's um, range here. So on yesterday, the in, uh, the in, sorry, not the yesterday. No, that is Tuesday. There we go. Sorry, getting confused myself here a little bit. So, um, this was Monday, this was Tuesday. Okay, so there we go. Um, so, the Wednesday's candle, there we go. Uh, the Wednesday's candle managed to stay kind of within the range of um, Tuesday's candle here, Tuesday's trading activity. Um, this, of course, such a move kind of uh, increases the chances then to see uh, the next kind of pop out like let's say either a blow up here to the upside or a drop uh, breakout to the downside here but uh, nevertheless I mean a breakthrough one of these levels is needed still so we we managed to break through the upper side here and uh, well I mean we stayed uh, above this area as well above this uh, 4086 territory um, so we managed to hit the um, uh, the level right here uh, near the 4,000, let me just um, uh, enlarge this a little bit, so near the 4,098 zone. So guys, we came very close uh, to testing that 4,100 level, but as you can see, yep, it kind of didn't really do that. Now let me just quickly double check the cash index because it seems that on the cash index we did manage to reach yes we did reach the 4110 zone so um, right now the uh, the price is balancing around that 4100 level just bang on in that area um, again this is of course above the uh, slightly above uh, yesterday's uh, yesterday's high um, let's see how this is gonna play out today um, still for me let's say if I want to look at some lower areas well I would need to see a drop below this 4068 territory right here and uh, this way I mean we could then go for a bit of a larger correction to the downside but at the moment guys everything is still leaning a little bit more towards the upside especially if uh, the price continues to trade above this 4086 territory right here the one that I was talking about previously now we're jumping into the German index DAX and uh, yes uh, we drifted lower yesterday but as you can see the bulls were strong enough to uh, push the uh, the index back um, back above this hurdle back above this uh, 15,160 territory and uh, yep we ended up being basically not even above this uh, 15,210 zone but just basically not far from that 15,200 territory now um, of course this doesn't really paint a very clear picture I would say for the short run even um, because again it's a bit of a um, it's a bit of an up and down here and uh, looking at the cash index right now we can see that the price is trading at around 15,201 200 zone so basically where it closed yesterday and below this uh, 15,210 territory, the one that I spoke about previously, this is the low of the 6th of April. Um, we're basically stuck in this little kind of um, little range right here, the little area territory right here. Um, the only little concern that I have here, and if we look at the weekly chart here, um, Basically, I want to see how this is going to play out today, and if we're not going to really, really form a maybe something of a uh, a doji here, and uh, basically, if we do see something like a doji or a maybe a hammer here, um, uh, or this so-called hanging man, um, then um, yeah, I mean, then maybe the whole action could come in next week because this could be seen maybe as a possible little reversal signal. But again, like I said, I'm getting ahead of here of myself a little bit. Um, um, if you want to go for some higher levels here, we'll probably just be a little bit more on the safe side and uh, wait for a push above yesterday's high at least. And that's roughly around the 15,000. Uh, let me expand this a little bit. 15,248 uh, territory right here. But um, still, we would have this obstacle, which is the all-time high near the 15,312. 
which could kind of stall the uh, the up move. Mm, but if that, of course, gets broken, then yes, higher levels could be met. I mean, this will this will confirm a forthcoming higher high, and uh, yep, uh, the sky is the limit for this one. But again, like I said, this because we are at a kind of a very um, difficult situation here today, and uh, don't get me wrong, it's Friday, guys, as well. So if you've managed to get a good result this week, then uh, Probably be very careful here today with the DAX and um, um, yeah, have your stop loss in place just in case this suddenly, let's say, explodes um, or breaks through uh, in one direction and just continues to travel. And if you're, let's say, for example, counter trading, then yeah, guys, I mean, that might not work and then you might ruin the whole kind of uh, mood for the weekend, uh, for the upcoming weekend. So, so yeah, that's kind of the logic here, guys. For now, basically, if um, if to look at this one, then if we get another drop below the fifteen thousand one hundred and sixty territory, then yes, this could increase the chances for uh, the index to drift lower. Um, but if the index starts pushing back above the 12,248 territory right here, which is yesterday's high, then we'll aim for the all-time high near the 15,312, um, a break of which, yes, could confirm a forthcoming higher high. But in, as long as it stays in here somewhere, I'm, I'm neutral. I'm just kind of going to just observing this the price action here because, again, it's a little bit way too tricky and it's Friday um, because we know sometimes on Fridays we do get these crazy swings um, now FTSE 100 uh, FTSE 100 uh, 6,942 that's where we closed yesterday uh, we pushed higher we remained above this area right here the 6,904 zone uh, looking at the cash index you can see that we are just fractionally above yesterday's close now um, if, um, again, I mean, as I've mentioned to you yesterday, guys, if we want to go for some higher levels, uh, then yes, there is a good chance for, for we could see that. And, uh, as, as long as the price remains above this, above this hurdle, above the 6,904 territory, if it stays above it, then yes, I will continue targeting the upside. But if it suddenly drops back below it, then we might consider maybe a bit of a corrective move here, uh, lower. DXY, the dollar index. So, um, we're correcting a little bit um, higher today this morning, but uh, basically I can say that the idea worked out. So um, this is what I talked about uh, a couple of days ago, but that we might see a bit of a corrective move here. But if this area, uh, if the if DXY finds this area too difficult to overcome, then yes, another slide here could be possible. And yes, the 92.50 territory did provide good resistance. And uh, we slid, and my target was the 92 point, uh, well, not a nine, the 92 territory, and we managed to perfectly reach that. This morning, yes, we are seeing a bit of a corrective move here, again to the upside. However, uh, we're still below the 21-day EMA, which um, does act as a good area of resistance and support. And uh, yep, now let's we'll say we could go a little bit higher, test the 21-day EMA, and if it struggles to overcome it, then another slide here could be possible. However, at this point, uh, given that we already had a kind of a bit of a slide here, I will say that um, I'll, I'm going to remain a little bit on the careful side here and probably take a, um, a careful, a cautious approach and wait for the 92 territory to be broken uh, first before, let's say, aiming for the next target near the 91.36 zone, which, as you can see, acts as a very nice area of support. Um, for the upside, pretty straightforward, a push back above the 92.80 territory. That's what I need in order to uh, go for some higher levels. Now, gold. Uh, gold uh, did enjoy the weaker dollar yesterday, as you can see. Yep, we had a good push, and uh, yep, it kind of worked out nicely here. So, uh, what I said to you yesterday in the morning in my Traders Espresso that if we get a pop above the 1745 territory, then yes, my next target is near this 1760 zone. We didn't really quite reach the 1760, we only hit the uh, 1758. In, in a half, let's say, yep, and uh, um, and then we kind of, yeah, we stalled there, and then now you're seeing a bit of a corrective move here lower. 
Um, everything is still kind of okay, I would say, as long as the um, the the price stays above the 1745 level. If it starts dropping below it, I'll take a neutral stand. But if it starts pushing below the 21 day EMA, now that's where we could maybe start maybe considering uh, a larger correction to the downside. But again, for now, yes, we are seeing a move lower, but this could still be seen as a corrective move. Um, Keep your eyes on this, guys. Keep your eyes on the 1745. Even if we overshoot it, well, <clears throat> wait for uh, probably the daily candle to settle here. And uh, if, it's if it still settles above the 1745, then yes, uh, we could continue targeting the upside here in the short run. Because uh, don't forget that we're still trading below some of these downside lines. Uh, now, jumping into uh, WTI oil. Uh, jumping into WTI oil and uh, well, okay, this is a little bit annoying here because um, let's put it this way: this um, it's not really doing much. I mean, it's just uh, it was grinding higher and uh, after this slump on Monday, uh, sorry, on uh, yes, on Monday. I do, do apologize. Um, getting kind of I'm really getting kind of confused with day today. Um, so on Monday, after having this strong slide here, you can see that yes, the um, the commodity started correcting higher, um, but uh, it was kind of correcting higher along the uh, this upside support line, but still staying below it. And uh, that, of course, doesn't really paint a very positive picture here. Um, although yes, it is kind of correcting here higher. However, um, also something for you to keep in mind, and basically, um, if uh, this is the case, then yep, we could see more downside to come. So basically, what I'm re referring to here is, if we see this uh, Monday's candle uh, this, as a pole, uh, we could see here a potential bearish flag pattern. Um, of course, you know that these patterns tend to break to the downside, and uh, yep, we could see this one dropping uh, lower and uh, moving uh, further south. Now, either way, even if it is a bearish flag, still probably uh, the, the safer bet here is to wait maybe for a violation of this area right here, the 57.30 uh, territory, approximately around here. So once we get a break below this, then yes, this will confirm a forthcoming lower low and uh, further declines could be possible. So that's why I'd be very careful on this. Um, for the upside, the same story, uh, still the same story. I need to see a push above the 62 territory here in order to go for the upside. Bit Bitcoin. Bitcoin is, uh, well, managed to stay above the 57,212 uh, territory. I spoke about this and stayed above the 21 day EMA, of course, as well. Um, now I'm kind of leaning a little bit more towards the upside. and uh, But I'll still be very careful, very cautious here, because again, if suddenly dollar index starts picking up and uh, it starts pushing strongly to the upside, then, well, uh, we could see BTC USD here uh, drifting heavily to the downside. Now, for the downside, uh, what I would like to see here is a drop below the current lowest point of this week, near the 55,555. Now, look at that beautiful number here, the 55555 here <laughs> number. There we go. So, a uh, nice good drop below it may open the door towards uh, slightly lower areas, guys. And uh, then we'll, of course, uh, aim for the 50. 1350 level here marked by the low of the 25th of March or even lower but again that's in terms of the downside for now I'm leaning a little bit more towards the upside as I said but my next target is the 60,190 territory which so far is proving itself to be a very strong area of resistance but if that gets broken then well well maybe we could see even more buyers joining in quickly on ripple uh, not much I'm gonna I'm not gonna spend too much time on this one but basically the idea once again worked out so Yesterday, um, I said to you guys that, um, yep, uh, or sorry, the day before yesterday, I said to you that uh, we might see after this strong recover, rever reversal here to the downside, I said that if the uh, rate still stays somewhere above this 0 0.8315 territory, yep, another push higher could be possible. We got that, and then now um, we're kind of a little bit... Um, 
stalling here I would say we're kind of moving sideways here and uh, now if you want to be on the safe side what you could do here is of course of course wait for a pop above the current uh, high of this week near the 1.1177 and then this will confirm a forthcoming higher high and uh, yep um, this kind of it could go further north towards those uh, levels that we saw back in uh, February of 2018 if I'm not mistaken let me just quickly double check here so yes um those are f uh, february levels oh, sorry january actually even levels january both january and february levels of 2018 so yeah um we still have some areas that we could test but again if you want to go for the upside then probably yes wait for that push above the 1.1177 um adjpy jumping into a few uh pairs here right now and uh yep we are uh, drifting to to the downside, and this is what I kept talking about, guys, uh, this whole week when I was covering AUDJPY. And uh, yeah, I mean, we've managed to break this. Um, let me just adjust this very quickly. Um, break this is 83.43 territory, and uh, let's see if we can stay below it. And if we do, then yes, my next target is this upside support line uh, taken from the low of the 19th of March of, of last year, of course. And uh, then we'll take it from there because maybe we could see something like this happening if it if it holds once again. But if it breaks and we see the um, and we see the the rate uh, sliding below the <clears throat> and 82.28 zone right here. Now that's where it could become very interesting for uh, a few more sellers, guys. And then, yes, this could lead to further declines. And maybe, just maybe, we could see this one forming a possible um, kind of double top here. And uh, But again, that's maybe a little bit ahead. I'm getting ahead of myself for now. The main um, the main question here is, will it rebound from this upside line? Well, first of all, will it reach this upside line? But um, if it continues to trade below the 83 Point forty three territory. Yes, I'll, I'm going to continue targeting the downside in the near term. Uh, USDJPY uh, uh, managed to stall near the uh, 21 day EMA near this 109.23 zone. Look at this perfect um, hold up here. And uh, yeah, I mean, for now, guys, for now, um, it's um, what, what I'm going to look at here is, of course, this level. I'm going slowly to the downside here. If we get another drop below this area, below this 109.23, then yes, my next target is the 108.34. And this is what I kept talking about from the beginning of this week, guys, if you remember, um, that I'm going to continue targeting the downside, but slowly, um, just to kind of uh, avoid any hiccups here and uh, eventually what I'm kind of looking at here and again like I said maybe I'm getting ahead, ahead of myself here a little bit but um, maybe just maybe we could see this one as forming a poss the possible uh, head and shoulders pattern with the with the neckline being around here near the highlighted area, uh, but for that, for that to consider that idea, first of all, we uh, well, we need a lot of things to be uh, to happen. Well, first of all, we need to see a further decline towards this area here, um, and then a rebound, then a formation of the right shoulder, and then another slide. So again, a lot, a lot of things to be done before that pattern could be. Uh, done but again for now let's go step by step let's ignore that for 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 the moment and uh, uh let's keep an eye on this 109.23 a nice good drop below it could open the door towards um uh, towards lower areas here now jumping into gbp aussie very quickly here and uh this one although it declined heavily this week uh, managed to rebound from the upside support line taken from the low of the 7th of january so yep that's in a way good news for the buyers however if um, we want to look at some higher levels again first of all well in this situation i would like to see the uh the pair moving back at least above the 200 day ema right here and uh then maybe also pushing over this um well actually no so let me just know this level is no longer valid this is the level the 1.8072 zone and at the same time yes like i said the break above the uh, 200 day ema could happen and uh, more buyers could join in so that's why i'm gonna stick to uh 
that uh, area for the upside. For the downside, I need to see a drop below the low, the current low of this week, near the 1.7934, 35 zone here. And then, yes, uh, at the same time, we could get break of this upside line. Euro GBP, look at this this firework here. And uh, well, I mean, this has managed to push nicely up to the upside here. We didn't even need that little retracement. We just continued to rally and uh, well, to be honest, as long as it stays above this area, above the 0 0.8628 zone here, the, we will continue targeting the upside. My next target is the um, the area near the this high, the high of the 26th of February, and that's roughly around the 0.8731. Um, and then we'll, of course, slightly above that, we do have the 108 EMA here shown as a green line. So. For now, long story short, basically I'm kind of leaning a little bit more towards the upside, and uh, as I said, my next target is around here, near the uh, near the high of the 26th of February and near the low of the 5th of February. Euro USD finally, so um, drifting, correcting a little bit lower here, but again, that's understandable. The dollar index is uh, drifting to the upside this morning, um, and everything's kind of working out here. And uh, we managed to stay above this uh, 1.1881 zone, so we don't need that little corrective move here uh, to the downside. However, um, we'll be very careful now. Uh, if the, I would say, if the rate remains either above this 1.1881 or at least above this above this 21-day EMA, then yes, uh, the upside scenario is still possible, guys. And uh, yep, and then we'll take it from there. For the downside, um, I need to see a drop below the 1.18 zone here in order to consider lower areas. So, guys, that's it for this session. I hope you found it useful. Thank you very much for watching and listening. By the way, keep your eyes on the calendar today we do have some data that's coming up uh, coming up especially from Canada um, so yep uh, we have the employment numbers from Canada and uh, yeah guys um, if you're trading the Canadian dollar be, ca be careful today you can have a look at our analysis that we will uh, release in about an hour and an hour and a half on our website um, and then yeah we can we can well Go take it from there, guys. So join me later on, my traders. Uh, tea time, 12:30 GMT. We'll have a look at some other, in some some of these instruments, some new ones. And uh, yeah, guys, have a wonderful trading day. Stay safe and always have your stop loss in place. Thank you very much, and bye bye.